All right, so today we're going to be seeing how to get Mia, the hardest character to get in Xenoblade Chronicles, by far one of the hardest characters to get ever in video game history. We're going to start by uh, being over here in Cauldros, next to FN Site 504. And I'm going to start from here, we're going to take this baby out for a spin, and we're going to go straight to the place where she's located, and you have to do a large amount of steps just to get to it. So it's a long, lengthy process, which uh, we'll get to that in a uh, in a second, but for now, let's go straight to the cave where Mia is located, and uh, this is the quest to unlock her. The cave is right over here. As you can see, I don't have a fourth mech, so one of my team members is burning, but it's perfectly fine. And this is the cave right over here. This is uh, this is in Coldros. This is the Ganglion. Uh, Atropolis or something like that. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but that doesn't matter. What matters is unlocking Mia. So let's go to this uh, area over here. All right. You don't have to fight anybody along the way. There's uh, you can just go this path over here. This guy's gonna always see you, but no big deal. You can just run past him. Go right over here to this section of the cave. There's a way to bypass the enemies in here too. You just wait for a second until they're facing you, and when they stop facing you, then you just run forward. Make a right. So right now. And then go to the right side, jump over here, jump this over here. And then you're gonna make a sharp left. Now this is where me is located. As you can see by that weird looking quest marker that's just like bright, bright colored white there, that says it's a treasure location on the map when it's actually Mia and the only way to unlock this and get this whole cutscene to even happen in the first place it's a lot of steps we're gonna get to that later on but for now let's just get through here I'm gonna see if I can uh, trigger it without even fighting the people here and I did there you go skipped all the enemies straight to the mission cutscene triggers and then Mia's over here saying hello because she's trapped this is the beginning of Mia's missing mission. <laughs> she obviously does not know it's me. I'm gonna let her know it's me. She seems to be going crazy. There we go, she finally figured it out it was me. It only took her about a half an hour. She's saying she wandered into a bad neighborhood, yada yada yada. I'm just gonna skip all this. She said something about a key, and one of the enemies in the cave has the key. She's been kidnapped, free her, search the for a blue suited xenoform and Coldrolos ganglion armor. All right, a blue suited xenoform. We just cut to the chase, found the missing uh, Mia map marker, because it just points you to the location. For some reason, Mia is there out of the cage now, which makes no sense, and she need the key to get out, but we'll see what happens. All right, there's something wrong here because either she's a clone or she's somebody's in disguise as Mia. Ask Mia why she's here. Thank her for warning you about a trap. I don't trust her. Out for the money. 
This sounds nothing like her. She's an adventurous person. Her parents were adventurers. And this is not Mia. This is obviously a clone or some kind of um, enemy. So I'm just going to kill it. Skip all the text and kill it. Yep. Skipping all the text to kill it. Uh, draw a weapon. There we go. There we go. Broke your character. Knew it. Take care of these people really quickly and get back to the quest. And there we go. I got the key, killed the imposter. Now to uh, make my way back. Alright, on my way back to the container where Mir is located, just do the simple steps that I taught you in the beginning to uh, bypass all these guys. The right side over here. There we go. I have the key now since the imposter is dead, so we can just go right over here and voila. Here's Mia, the real Mia. She was in there for days. Oh, that sucks. Oh great, she wrecked her skull. She needs a ride back to the city. <laughs> Just fast travel to the city, and uh, should be the end of the mission coming up very soon. Just fast travel back to the city. I'm gonna finish up the mission right over here. Talk to Walter. She's just explaining all the stuff she went through when she got captured and all that to her superior. There we go. Now she's basically, uh, she's promised me she won't go running around like an idiot. And finally, after doing a lot of missions, it's finally over. And the new recruit and hardest character to get in Xenoblade is available. Mia. Use a Psycho Corruptor class, a standard, but she does have, um, uh, I believe Beam Bomber is a uh, special ability. And there we go, Mia mission complete. 
If you want more details on all the previous steps on how to get to this point in this mission, look for it in the description below. If not, just let me know what's going on. Comments and all that good stuff. Peace.